So that was pretty cool. And I got this shirt because for me, spirituality is everything. It's, it's hard to find shirts still with um, God or spirituality in the thrift store. So when I saw it, I picked it up. I was like, witness. I, I saw the cross. I was like, oh, okay. So then on the back, it has this scripture. And I thought that was really cool. Like, I could really wear this pretty much anywhere and still be stylish, but Christian at the same time. So, um, then I thought another freaking Ninja Turtle shirt, and I didn't even realize the back of it until I got it home, which was stupid. I tried it on, I seen the front, I didn't realize what was on the back of it. But I thought it was cute because it looks, it makes me look like a woman Ninja Turtle because it's a shell. And like in the chest area, you know, it pulls out, of course, because you're a woman. So it looks like a woman turtle. <laughs> and then on the back, I didn't notice this until I watched it, that it has the freaking turtle shell on the back. So it's front and back. I thought that was cool. So it looks like I'll be cartoon characters out this fall. <laughs> And I got this plain um, long sleeve shirt. I love the color purple. So it's like that is really, it's really form fitting. I love like long sleeve shirts that so I don't have to alter like the sleep alter like the sleeves are extra tight. It's just perfect for any setting. It's pretty lavender. And I can't wait to show y'all what I found at the freaking end. Oh my god. Like, I love the color purple, as I've said. And it's hard to find royal purple things in the thrift store for some reason. I, like, I can find lavender. Or I can find, like, a kind of like a faded purple. But I can't find, like, that bright, vivid purple. Like, in sweaters or blazers or stuff like that. It's hard for me to find stuff that's vintage that's purple. But I'll show you that. Save that for last. And I've, how long is this freaking video? So I got this belt. And I don't know why I freaking got it. Because when I got home, I realized I already have a red belt. But the difference is the red belt I have has like a shiny tint to it. I like this one because it has kind of like a matte finish. So it's not as dressy as the other one and it's gold of course i love gold and i got this belt i just love the three loops that's just classic like this classic style vintage it's just a regular black skinny belt and it's gold so you can't go wrong with black and gold and i think that's it and i'm about to show you my freaking ugh, the love of my life right now so, let me give you the back story. So, about, I had seen Willy Wonka, like, several times. Like, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's the same thing. It's just the remake and the original, the two different titles. But, I was watching the original one, like, probably like a year ago. And I had watched the movie several, several times, but I didn't realize well, I guess I didn't notice his jacket, Willy Wonka's jacket. So I was like, man, I was freaking brought that jacket if I had it. For some reason, I was like loving that jacket because I love purple. I was like, ugh, if I could have that jacket. So, long story short, um, after I've gotten all these cool t-shirts, I'm walking through the jackets. And by the time, I'm like, whatever, I'm not getting nothing else because by the time, my buggy was like, full full it was like three times this stuff i ended up putting stuff back because you know you just dump stuff in there that you don't need so i'm walking by the jackets i'm not really looking you know how you trying to scroll I, I guess when you're like a really good thrifter you really don't go through every piece of every rack sometimes sometimes you could just scroll with your eye and you could automatically catch a piece that's like oh I like that you could see sequins or you could see like a bright color or a bright pattern from a mile away so I saw I was literally like glimpsing through the rack and I freaking saw like royal a uh, royal purple velvet material so I was like 
It can't be. It cannot be. Like, it's gonna be some ugly peas. It's gonna be like just ugly. Not different, just ugly. So I pull it out, and it's a freaking world purple, like vivid purple, velvet, full length, trench coat. when I see him, I was like I kept on looking for something wrong like this this is not and even the lapels are very structured like his was it looks kind of it's kind of like a man's coat like how they have very defined lapels not that feminine you know so so I pick it up and it's this it's gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It is so freaking long. And I was always intimidated. The longest jacket I have is probably thigh length. No, probably like knee length. And I wear that in the fall, winter. Like, that's my like favorite <laughs> go to coat. But when I saw this, I was like, it's so long. But I was like, oh, duh, you're tall. Why don't you wear it? So I tried it on. And it has like a split in the back, like a long split. And it comes like. It's literally long, like it comes almost to my probably like mid leg, but not in an awkward way. Like if I wear heels with it, it'll look perfect, you know. It's like perfect. It's a perfect length. But it's really long, so if you're intimidated by length, you'll automatically be like, Ugh, I had to get that altar and you'll end up ruin ruining such a good piece. So, um I was just like in love. And it's just uh, it's just glamour. Like, the shoulder pads don't need to be taken out. They're just, like, perfectly... It's just perfectly made. The sleeves... I have long arms. The sleeves fit perfectly. The only thing that I'm going to change on it is the freaking buttons. The buttons are plain purple. And it's like, the jacket itself is a beautiful jacket. So, if I keep the buttons, it'll be fine. But I was thinking, like, I go to, like, Hobby Lobby and different places a lot. And I see that they have, like, kind of buttons that are dressy dressy that kind of look like little chandeliers. Or they're just jewel, bejeweled buttons. So, I was like, if I put, oh, my God. If I put some freaking, like encrusted jewel encrusted diamond um not diamond jewel encrusted buttons on here oh my god it'll be even more like bomb like you see the sweat so like i can't wait to change the buttons because what i'm gonna do i'm probably i'm i was thinking i might do like um just white jewels clear jewels buttons but I was thinking it might be even cuter because they have it where they have like white, black, gold, silver. So since those are neutral, I might do a white, you know, well, clear, I guess I'll say. Clear, um, jewel, gold, um, black, silver. So it's like no matter what jewelry I wear, I mean, it, I don't really care, but no matter jewelry I wear or whatever, it kind of stands out instead of just the same type of button over and over again and it's just oh if you could feel it and like I'm just <laughs> I'm just freaking in love with this piece so like because I really love like fall winter that's why I'm so excited for the season to come and I just can't wait to wear this because I'm the type that I will overdress. <laughs> like, I don't care. So, it's it's not going to be hard for me to find a place to wear this. I'm not going to wait until New Year leave to put on a piece like this. When it gets cold enough, if I'm going out to eat or if I'm going somewhere, I'm going to wear it. So, I can't wait. And I'll probably show you when I, um, I'm going to do a Thursday Recreations video. And I'll probably show you how it looks when I put the buttons on it. It'll probably look way freaking better. It's like at a 10 now. It's probably going to look like at a 20 then. But I'm going to do that through through recreation because I've been re recreating a lot. And I'm going to do a flight attendant video. Like FAQs because I am a flight attendant. Black flight attendant with natural hair. So I know a lot of people wonder about that. And an international flight attendant. So, um... 
yeah that's about it so i hope you enjoyed the pieces i hope it inspires you to go thrifting and to see what's out there and hopefully you could be like me and not buy unnecessary items when you first start thrifting but i learned my lesson because you'll learn that with thrifting you can't do that because you'll end up running out of space it's, it is a such thing as having too many clothes even though you might think that's a lot it's, it is a such thing because you'll end up with items that you don't even wear you just have them they just sit like it's a lot of pieces where i don't i didn't even know i didn't i forgot i bought them they just sit and it's like oh I bought you six months ago, a year ago. I lost you. You start losing clothes. So that's just too much. But um, I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. <laughs> I'm freaking gonna put on. Let me put it on before we go. Before we leave each other. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> I just feel like freaking. I feel freaking bomb in this jacket. Like, I cannot wait. It's just, this is it. Let me see. <sighs> you see how it fits my sh Oh my god, it's just so amazing. And it like goes on. You can literally go like this in it. <laughs> you can twirl all you want. You can do whatever. And it so I can't wait until I put the button on it and it's gonna look even more perfect and I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul I'll see you guys later okay